been a while. <laughs> hi, hello, hi. It's been a little while since I made a video. Shocker! I have a lot of anxiety about making videos, so... I mean, this is a story for another time, but I just always feel like what I make isn't good enough, and I'm very anxious about the fact that I don't have any decent video editing software or a decent computer to edit videos on, so I'm always worried that my videos suck. But anyway, today I want to talk about binding, but not just pre-op, but sort of like the after effects. Not clickbait, I broke a rib after surgery. So. Ya boy here had surgery uh, like a year and a half ago. Before surgery, I used to bind with usually two binders on. This is before GC2B was a thing, so I used to use underwork binders. I used to use one long binder and then one short tri-top binder, and that was the only thing that got me flat. Or at least flat enough to not want to die in the middle of the day. GC2B came out and I started wearing their binders, but it was the same thing. Um, day to day, I would just wear one long binder, but if I had to go somewhere, like a dressy event, and I had to wear a button-up shirt, or if I was only able to wear, like, let's say if I was only able to wear a t-shirt, for example, I would then sometimes wear two binders. I'd wear the long binder, and I'd wear the short binder. So here's the thing. While I was binding, yes, I was in pain, yes, it sucked, but you know, like, I was fine, I didn't break any ribs, I was breathing, it was all good, and then I had top surgery. And I recovered from top surgery and I waited a long time before exercising because I didn't want to hurt myself and it takes me forever to heal. But then one day while I was doing weights, I was like lying down on my back and doing one of these things like where you have the weights behind your head and I pulled them front and that movement uh, caused this like tearing feeling in my rib and I couldn't breathe and it felt like I was being stabbed and it was just... It was great. I uh, didn't know what was wrong. I thought I broke a rib because I couldn't move or breathe for a long time. I went to the hospital, they x-rayed me. This was a long, ongoing thing because it would heal and then I would try to exercise and I would hurt myself again. And it was always this pain between my ribs and I was like, what is happening? So I went to go see my osteopath and he's been working with me and my broken ass body since uh, before I started testosterone, before surgery. So he's like, he's seen it all. He knows, he knows what's going on. He's the one who sort of made me realize um, that it may be the after effects of binding that were hurting my ribs. So, here's the thing, hear me out. If you're binding for years, years for most of the day, even if you're only binding eight hours a day and you're following all the like safety rules and all that shit, you're still binding and the binder is holding up your chest. It is basically weakening your intercostal muscles. Your intercostal muscles are secondary breathing muscles. They're located between your ribs. So basically, it's the equivalent of like, when someone wears a corset, I guess, and it sort of weakens their back, things like that, I don't know, like, if I were wearing a neck brace all the time and I took off the neck brace, my neck would be very weak, my neck muscles would be weak, that would be dangerous. That's basically what happens to my body with my ribs and my intercostal muscles. So, years of binding weakened my intercostal muscles and caused me to get hurt all the time. So, and I mean, the only thing to do with that is to work out your intercostal muscles, but they're just secondary breathing muscles, so I just had to do a lot of breathing exercises and very slowly get back into working out and really give my body time to heal and get used to using those muscles again and take, taking deep breaths and like breathing while lifting very light weights and it's just, you know, it was a process. But all that to say, I just wanted to make a video about that so that you guys will maybe be more aware and won't break a rib or pull a muscle or hurt yourself after top surgery and not understand why. So yeah, I just, I feel like that's something that's not really talked about, um, about the fact that like we get weakened by wearing binders. It's like we know a lot about like don't bind too tightly and all this shit, but it's like even if you're binding safely, you're still weakening your muscles. So yeah, that's it. That's the end of it. Uh, I feel like this is very anticlimactic after literal months of not uploading a video. This is all I have to say, but um, I'll be making other videos. Anyway, thanks for tolerating me. Love you. Bind safely. Bye-bye.